Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. And I know I say this quite often, you're gonna really, really love this message, but this morning, you are gonna really love this message. This is like your autobiography read back to you. This is who you are, this is what this community is all about. And I wanna share with you a couple of amazing things that hope just reinstills your reason for being and hopefully sends you out of the world today just going, oh my goodness, my purpose is absolute to be on fire with passion and spread my sacred sauce on everyone I see, like literally, <laughs> everybody. And it comes on the heels of something I read this morning and um, I love, love reading Stoic philosophy. And in particular, I love reading Marcus Aurelius, who was a philosopher, he was the emperor of Rome. He was known as the kindest, most loving, most uh, wisdom-filled emperor in the history of Rome. And you have to understand, this is the most powerful person in the world at this time. And he was asked once, they said, Marcus, what is your vocation? And he said, simply, to be a good person. My vocation, my reason for being, is to be a good person. Wow. Think about that. Can you imagine when someone says, so what do you do for a living? Uh, well, I'm here to be a good person. And maybe that is, <laughs> that's maybe what you, I don't, think, I don't think many of us answer it that way. We all sometimes talk about like our roles in our family, our roles out in the world with our job. But what if we kind of just unpacked all of that and just said, you know what? Underneath all the different titles, all the different things that I do, my real goal, my real aspiration, my true vocation, the capital J job, is to be a good person. And I wanna share with you something that happened to me a number of years ago, I'll never forget it. I was on an airplane and it was like 20, 30 years ago, I don't remember exactly, but the movie was playing Pay It Forward. Remember that movie, Pay It Forward? And in that particular flight, I was surrounded by a bunch of guys, just a bunch of triple type A guys that were all working on their computer. And one of the rules I had on airplanes, if I had been working all day someplace traveling, on the airplane, I'd watch a good movie or I'd read, and particularly that night, uh, the, the movie uh, Pay It Forward was on. And halfway through that movie, I was floodgates. I was just crying. I was a mess, a good mess. And I remember kind of like looking around, and all these guys looking around, and they look at me, and I'm just like, you yeah. <laughs> know. And I, I was embarrassed, then I wasn't. I was just like, oh my gosh, I am moved. And if you remember that movie, it was all about the idea of paying goodness forward, paying kind gesture forward, paying love forward. So this morning, I was thinking about what it is that many of us are really thinking about our lives more and more. How do we want to show up? What's our, what's our job with a capital J? What's our divine inspired action that we want to bring forward today? And when you think about this idea of paying it forward, which could be about kindness, it could be about generosity, it's about doing something for somebody else or something else with no expectation, expectation of having anything come back in return. So here's what's really cool about this. Not only is it contagious, not only does it make people want to do that again and again and again, as that movie suggested, now science is underscoring and saying, oh my gosh, it creates a contagion that can go on literally for thousands and maybe even millions of people. It just kind of takes on a life of its own. Really, really interesting in terms of mental health. Um, I, I've been very open about my challenges with mental health throughout my lifetime, and I think many of us here um, are people who are working with that, working on it, uh, aware of it, know people who have um, challenges, who are connected and working on it as well. This is very, very interesting. There's a trifecta of hormones, brain chemicals, oxytocin, serotonin, and dopamine. Oxytocin is about trust trust of others and trust of ourselves. Serotonin is about happiness and calm and centeredness and confidence, very, very beautiful in that way. And dopamine, about motivation and courage and, and moving forward in our life. Well, what we know about this idea of paying it forward is those three neurochemicals associated with all that awesomeness is one of the primary things that happen under the influence of paying it forward. So when I think about that, and I think about mental health, and I think about Marcus's words about being a good person, and I think about the times that we're living in and how people are looking for demonstrations. People, I believe, are looking for emulation. They're looking for people to copy. And we always know that according to the research, the science suggests that we tend to copy people who are the kindest, most generous, the ones who give us hope, the ones who make us feel love. So today, 
as you're making your way out into the world or you're doing anything in the world, consider that trifecta, those powerful three. Remember a schoolhouse rock? Three is a magic number. Oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin. An opportunity to help us to feel better, to be better, to do better, to experience a level of peace and purpose that is literally transcendent because it comes out of us and spills all over all of us. We become world changers. We become catalysts for the change that we wish to see in the world. So with that, pay it forward, dear one. Much love, all blessings. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye for now.